KCRA 3 News starts right now. Good morning. It is Sunday, December 7th, Marathon Sunday here in Sacramento. I'd like to sell in with meteorologist Eileen Javora this morning. A bit foggy of a start out there today. I mean. Yeah, a little bit so, but race conditions ideal, Mike. We're not dealing with brutal cold like last year, not dealing with the rain like we have in previous years. Instead, it is quiet, the winds are light. Just a chill in the air with temperatures in the upper 40s in Folsom right now. And we are seconds away from the start of the 31st annual California International Marathon. It's a live look at the starting line. Photographer Rob Stewart out there with Kristen Samos. You can hear the countdown. Then they're off. 26.2 miles from Folsom. Weaving their way through the sat, uh, streets of Sacramento County all the way down to the state capitol. Again, Kristen Samos is out there by the starting line witnessing this moment as the runners run by. Kristen, what's the feeling? What's the mood like out there this morning? Oh my gosh, Mike, it is so exciting out here right now. 9,000 runners from 31 different countries out here to run the 32nd annual California International Marathon. There's another 4,000 relay runners who are here and at the three relay points along the route. This is such a wonderful event for Sacramento, such a great event for runners of all levels. This is a really popular marathon, both for first timers and for professionals. There are people out here who are trying to qualify for the 2016 U.S. Olympic Marathon Trials. A lot of people out here who want to qualify for the Boston Marathon. Uh, this is a really popular event for people trying to qualify for Boston. Last year, more than 1,200 runners qualified. This year, many people are, are trying to do the same thing. This is their ticket to Boston. It's considered the fastest course in the West. That's because uh, there's a little bit of a downhill slope from Folsom to downtown Sacramento. It's also really popular because we usually have pretty good weather here in Sacramento in December. And we have what they say are the best spectators uh, in, in the marathon world. We've got 50,000 spectators uh, lining the course from here to downtown Sacramento. Uh, and if you are going to be out and about this morning, you might want to avoid this area because of those 50,000 spectators. They're going to be driving uh, around the course trying to get from point to point to see their runners. And as you mentioned, this, this is in Fulton. It goes down Fair Oaks Boulevard uh, throughout East Sacramento down J Street and then into downtown Sacramento along L Street and to the Capitol. And this is going to be for the good part of the morning. Uh, the runners, the fastest runners will make it to the Capitol in just over two hours. The course record is two hours and ten minutes. Uh, and and for women, it's two hours and 29 minutes. One interesting and exciting point, they are expecting the women's marathon record to be broken this morning. Uh, they're expecting it to be beat by an American out of Bend, Oregon. Her personal record is two hours and 27 minutes. Uh, and again, the course record, two hours and 29 minutes. That was set in 1999. So they're expecting her to have a really good run again because it's that nice downhill slope and also it is just such a beautiful day out here. And then for the regular runners, they'll be coming in for hours still. When you're eating lunch later today, four or five hours down the road from now, think of these runners. A lot of them have been training for months and months and will be completing the 26 miles today. And boy, are they going to be ready for their lunch time. But such a, such a very exciting place. Energy this morning is just through the roof. And of course, we'll be following them from here at the start line in Folsom all the way down Fair Oaks, through East Sacramento and into uh, the state capitol. And you can see many people still crossing. We're seeing uh, markers, people who are pacing the runners, those who want to finish in four hours. I think we just saw the four hour, 10 minute pacer run by. A lot of happy people who are going to be a lot of really tired people here in a couple of hours. Really exciting, Mike. I'm sure you can feel the energy back there. And it's oh, just so awesome to watch as wave after wave after wave continue to run by. A testament to just how many people are starting off this morning. And just think about all the individual stories that uh, could be told about those runners as they head off this morning on their journey down to downtown Sacramento. We look forward to uh, catching up with you along different spots along the way, Kristen. So we'll let you go so you can uh, start your journey across we'll that 26.2-mile course. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs>
And we also want to give you a look at what the course looks like as these runners again starting from Folsom will be weaving their way all the way down to the state capitol, mostly on Fair Oaks Boulevard until they transition to J Street and then into downtown Sacramento. And be advised that because of it, there are right now and will be rolling closures throughout the Sacramento County area this morning and into the afternoon, especially again along Fair Oaks Boulevard and then once you get into downtown Sacramento.